up dogs I'm gonna get you into a little uh, hip release and sort of a wind down flow even though it's morning here you actually could use it as a warm-up just do less holding of the poses like move through it a little quicker if you're gonna do it for a warm-up otherwise it's kind of a nice wind down if you've been doing a lot of activities wherever you are especially on vacation when you maybe not do as many activities you're sitting around um, and the hips get tight from traveling and stuff so uh, that's what we're kind of focused on. Of course, we got a Captain Morgan pose in there, a little balance too, because we're in the Caribbean. Um, so it's pretty windy here. I'm gonna try to talk you through it, but if not, I might have to do that voiceover. So uh, you don't really need anything. I'm on the beach with nothing. If you would like to have blocks and blanket, of course, grab those or whatever works in your house or around you. Otherwise, I'll give you some modifications. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Start standing up and those. Stand in front of your mat or a beach, keep it with apart. Just roll your shoulders back a little bit, lift and lower the feet a little bit, right? And then settle into your J's on the feet. Big toe, pinky toe, heel. I'm a little lopsided on this beach, but it's okay. We'll turn around and do the other thing after you guys are gone. <laughs> do the other side. Uh, and settle into your breath. Use that Darth Vader breath if it's morning. If you like, if you need to get a little more heated up or just long, deep inhale and exhale. Turn those palms forward, lift the heart. One more breath in. Breath out. So and then on inhale, take your right knee up to your chest and just kind of give it a little opening there. You could do it without the hand as well if you got some balance both directions, little circles. Place the foot down, make sure you're starting to do the other side, either holding the knee or not. So if you got a little balance where you are. Do both ways. At least it's not raining on this hump, right? And settle back down, shake the legs out, back to the J's on the feet. Inhale, reach those arms up, look at your thumbs. Interlace the fingers, exhale to the east coast, to the right. Look up under that top arm. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, palms to heart. We just do pure suns out, guns out salutations. Anything fancy you want to add, go for it. Chaturanga tequila or shot to get tequila, whatever you're feeling. Just going to do two. On an inhale, circle the arms around and up, reach. Exhale, open the arms, fold, bend the knees, press into the balls of the feet. Inhale, half lift, open the chest, see if you can spread your heels away. Exhale, step back to plank or knees, shift forward, chaturanga tequila or shotski on the knees. West up dog, you can stay with the west up, up. And exhale, back to seat. Downward dog. Roll out, push do there. I'm going to turn a little sideways here so you guys can see what I'm doing it. Going out there. And inhale, bend the knees, look forward, walk or jump, feet to hands, half lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale to west coast. Inhale, center. Exhale, east coast. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold right back down into it. Bend your knees if you need to. Just push into the toes rather than heels. Inhale and look up. Open that chest. Exhale, step it back to plank or knees. Shift forward first. Elbows in. Halfway or all the way. Inhale, press up dog or hop. Exhale, back to snoop. Snoop downward dog. Put a lid on. I wish she was here with the corona on the beach with us. <laughs> Here we have free drink and sell brights. They're the best. Uh, one more long deep breath here. You can keep paddling because we're just doing two of these. You can keep twisting, right? Maybe lift and lower heels. And then walk the feet forward. <clears throat> Half left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise up. And 
Exhale, palms to the heart again. Shake the sand off. Make sure you're still breathing. Inhale and exhale through the nose. Nice. We're going to do one more little flow here. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees if you like. Inhale, look up. Stick your left foot back. And just hold here for a moment. Right. Squeeze your inner thighs towards each other. You could either drop down to your knee or rise up into a full drop sword. Ah, reach to the sun. Lift the heart up and back. That back leg can be straight or slight bending. And then an exhale, you're going to open out to thug two. Nice. So here, set it up so your right knee's over the right ankle. Press into your outer left heel, or outer right heel, sorry. Outer right heel. You give a little arch in that low back to open up the chest, then reach arms out opposite directions. Press into your outer left foot and see if you can drag right heel to left arch. Adding a little strength to those adductors helps with the hips as well. You want balance of strength and mobility. Now inhale, turn that right palm up. Pretend you have a corona or an still right. Reach forward, up and back, reverse chug. Oh, yeah. back and the shoulders, not necessarily the hand. It's straight up. Yeah. Great. You could look down or you look up to the top hand. If that hurts your right knee, slightly lift your right heel. You could shorten the stance a little as well. Breathe in. Breathe out. You want to add some strength. Drag that right heel to left arch. Mm. Call it hip hop right because a lot of times we do this moving. And if you come back up, looks like you're naughty by nature, right? Come all the way up, turn those toes out, hands to hips, and then just squat into a little ninja lunge, side to side, right? A little side to side, pretty easy. Basic, we're not doing too much in these shorties, just to get you wound down in the daytime or in the nighttime, or prepped up for your day. Hold the left side, left knee down. Left it goes inside of the leg, right arm up if you want that variation. Exhale the hand down. Lift the hips, walk it back to the front of the mat exactly where you were. Do a little tequila flow here. It's always your option, whichever one you like to do. Yep. And back into Smooth downward dog, just hold for a moment, breathe in, push the floor away from you, lift the tailbone, breathe out, inhale, bend the knees, look forward, you can walk, I'm jumping up hills, so I'm just going to walk, <laughs> look up, maybe wag that tail if you need to, exhale, fold, inhale, rise up, and exhale, palms to the heart, shake off the sand, I'm also going to change my hat for a moment, so just go back to your breathing, Long, deep, even breath. It's kind of like your little biggie pose here, a little break to let everything settle in for that right side. We'll do it all again on the left. But before we do so, we're gonna take the feet a little bit wider, right? And do a little outdoor living. So feet wide, toes out. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, just like we did for the ninja lunge, sit halfway and then push off the floor and come up again. Two more like that, sit a little deeper. Come up, and now sit all the way down. Drop it down, drop it like it's hot. So the playlist there is in the link, you should have seen. Um, forgot to mention that. There is a couple, you could go back to that Rihanna playlist since we're in the Caribbean, or we got one with Snoop Dogg since I'm mentioning him quite a bit. 
Pants. He just reminds me of that Corona commercial on the beach, right? And we always love Snoop. You just give a little wiggle side to side. Get your little uh, Afro-Caribbean stuff in there too, why not? <laughs> On an exhale, hands down, lift the hips. Heel toe the feet back, hip width apart. Press down into the feet and rise up again. Palms to the heart, just breathe. Again, now you should have forgotten about that other side. We're ready of the clean slate to start the other side. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, open the arms full. Exhale, right foot back this time. Pause here for a moment. Squeeze those thighs in until your hips lift a little bit. Drill your left heel down and rise up. Remember, you can always be on that right knee if you like to. Drop sword here, chalice for the ladies. You can always give it a little shimmy shimmy. Yeah, feels good for the hips, the back. Lift a little taller. Inhale up and back with that heart. And then exhale, up to the out to the side. Press into your outer left foot. So here's what I'm talking about. You put this little arch in the low back, stick the tailbone out, then roll the shoulders back to open the chest. Hands go straight out here. You can add that strength, drag left heel to right arch. to the front of the mat and push left foot to the front of the mat look up wiggle a little bit if you need to exhale and fold this time we'll just hang there not gonna suck in cell phones grab your elbows Bend the knees if you need to. Press in the J's on your feet. Rise all the way up. Relax those arms up. And exhale, palms to the heart. Stay here for a breath. And then find your balance. If you need to be next to a wall, go ahead, a rock, whatever you got there. Press your left foot into the mat. Get the J on that left foot. Right, little bend the knee, get it ready for action. It's like we're ready to, ready to jump into break dancing, right? Here we go. There we go. There we go. It's almost like this, you know, break dance move. You're prepping. Take your left hand on your hips. So this is our Captain Morgan pose. There's two options. The actual Captain Morgan, and then you can extend it once you feel comfortable. But either one is fine. It's just opening those hips a little bit. You get balance, but you're also getting strength on the other hip. So before you even lift this right leg, Press your left hip in until your right hip lifts, right? That's using that abductor and you're gonna push it in to give it a little bit of strength. It'll help your balance too. Left hand on the hip. Engage your core and breathe. Look at one spot on the ground, yeah? Your bay's gaze. And then take that right knee up to your chest. That right hip will still be lifted because you're using that left hip to push it up. Then you take that knee out to the side. There's your Captain Morgan, which I see everywhere around here at the bars. See post. <laughs> you can stay there again, or you take A-town fingers, thumbs, grab the big toe. It's a little more, a little deeper, but make sure your torso is tall, right? And then the final phase you might try is lifting up. And that's when that left hip really helps you lift that right leg. Always options. Again, do 
do what works for you. Captain Morgan looks great next to the guy with the bottle. <laughs> I don't want to say while well, we're doing a Captain Morgan pose, thank you very much to a company here called Jolly Pirates Aruba. It is seriously a reason to come, like the only story I think, to come to Aruba. It is so fun and such a good value. All right, so bring that knee into your chest and exhale down. Shake it out. It's basically a four hour trip on a pirate ship but you go to amazing snorkel position, snorkel, position, snorkel coves, and a shipwreck, great fish, turtles, all kinds of things, great snorkeling spots, and you get to swing off the boat, and then um, they feed you an incredible meal, even for a vegetarian. It was really good, and not just like the size of everybody else's, you know? So great food, such a good value. Oh, did I mention? Jolly Pirates has an open bar. Mm, yep. Yeah. <laughs> So then now you're gonna do that other side. Get the right foot down, you see my foot? Jay's on the feet, get a little prep. Yep, like we're going into action, bend that knee, bounce on it. Yep, I'm gonna take some weight on that foot. Press your right hip in and up, yes. Then, right hand on hip, face gaze, breathe. Bring that knee in. Pause there, just breathe. There's no rush here, you can always rewind. And then, or stop it, and then continue on. Out to the side, Captain Morgan. Right, you're still lifted in that left leg and hip. Stay there, or A-Town fingers around the big toe and open the chest again. Oops, get your balance. Ha! Ah, the wind just came up. Stay there, or jump again, and you're lifting through that right hip, pushing in. Yeah? Whatever option works. I'm gonna come down before, before I get knocked over by the wind. Anyway, our, our pirate captains were amazing. They're funny, they play good music. Well, I would, you know, I prefer more hardcore hip hop, but they did play some hip hop for me, so it was great. Um, it's just a good value, and I think it was 70 bucks for like four hours. Incredible, I would highly recommend it. Um, if you come to Aruba, you do talk to me because. Uh, it's not really my style, but there's some. we found some cool things for sure. All right, shake those legs out. Back to your J's on the feet, open it up again. Let's do a little hip stretches now. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, fold. Go straight to Snoop Down Dog, so you're just coming all the way back. Actually, no, come to plank. We forgot to hold tequila flow. My bad. Shift forward, elbows in, lower. Come up to what's up, dog. Sorry, I forgot that whole tequila flow. Hopefully you guys remembered it. It's what happens when you're doing it on the fly, on the beach. Exhale, back to snoop. Uh, I'll get over here so you can see. Hold that snoop dog a few breaths. Inhale that right leg up. Exhale, knee to right wrist. Find your half dead pigeon or gut left leg back. So here, the same thing we did in that thug too, where you squeeze your thighs towards each other, like we did right heel to left arch or whatever. Squeeze the thighs in again and lift the heart up. Get the shoulders back first. Almost a little heart opener, a little stripper pose, and then start to walk the hands down. Use a block under your hip, whatever you normally do here, and just breathe. Remember you have an option of walking the hands to the left. It's just a little different stretch. Make sure your hips are level. You could point the left toe, left toes, or tuck them, which is a little more stretch in that hip flexor around there. So here, if you were using this sequence as a prep for another activity, don't hold this pose very long. Just kind of get into it, wiggle around, wake up those muscles, and then get right out of it, move on to the next. to cool down, you could stay here another five or six breaths. Otherwise, we're going to start to lift up on your inhale. Roll to your right hip. Here we go, what we call fireball. Yes. Left shin in front of the right. So I'm doing the easy version. My hips are kind of tight today. So this uh, version I like, I think 
sometimes I even get a better stretch in the hips. But basically you want the feet in line with the knees, space between your hips and legs. It is fire log pose in traditional classes or stacked legs, double pigeon, a lot of names for it. But you want the middle of the shins crossing. It's not lotus or, or easy E pose where you're crossing your ankles. It's not the foot up onto the hip. That's a whole different pose. You can do that if you want, but we're doing this one here. Flex your feet, more important than anything, protect your knees. Inhale, lift the heart and exhale, fold over. Keep those hands behind you so you're lengthening the spine, not so much rounding just yet. Then, if you are very open in the hips, you take your left ankle on top of the right thigh, just above the knee. So I don't wanna say knee because we don't wanna press on a joint, but it'd be just above the knee. So it kinda looks like a square, which is where it gets its name, fire log or fire, or um, stack legs. But our, of course, in thug yoga became fireball. <laughs> Another option, you can hold your feet, make sure they are flexing, right? On an inhale, lift up. Again, you could stay longer, pause it. Otherwise, we're gonna go through a tequila flow here, cross the legs, jump, step back, whatever you're feeling for your tequila flow. I like the little wiggle and up dog, feels good, especially on the beach. And exhale, back to snoop. And then into your left side pigeon, so we'll come back over here, left leg up. Exhale, knee behind left wrist. Work your right leg back to that little squeeze of your inner thighs. Squeeze in and lift. Open the chest. And then set it back down, find your pigeon here. So I want to also give a shout out to one of my absolute favorite yoga teachers, Kino McGregor in Miami. She is my beach yoga inspiration and uh, I love her. She's an Ashtanga teacher, very, very, very well respect respected in the Ashtanga world and has been practicing for 20 something years, I think, and always goes to India and practice with Tabi Joyce, who is the OG founder of Ashtanga Yoga as we know it. Of course, it came from Krishnamachara and some texts, but in general, modern day times, Tabi Joyce, the OG of Ashtanga Yoga, which is what I learned and practiced and still practice and was trained in. So shout out to those guys and especially Kino for the beach yoga. I love her videos on the beach because I live in the mountains, you know, as you guys know. So beach is very special to me. And again, if you did this on the other side, you walk the hands to the right side for that little different stretch. And then you're gonna walk your hands back or stay if you want. Walk your hands back, roll to your left hip, swing that right leg around. Again, it was my other favorite thing in Aruba, the Arubas. It's only $2 to like go up, up the island. It's such a good deal. Um, and it's a nice bus. And it can take you pretty much where you want to go up and down the island. Cool. All right, so that right shin's across and the right foot is under the left knee. You got this sort of stacked leg thing going on. If you have open hips, right ankle on top, just behind the knee. And then hands behind you, lift the heart. And exhale, relax your fireball. I'm on fire. <laughs> it definitely is a spring break vibe here. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how long it took me to find a quiet beach zone. stay and pause. We're going to do one more Chaturanga of Tequila or one more Tequila Flow and come into your biggie pose lying on your back so you can get anything now that you want to prepare. You want to um, turn us off and us like Kelly's here. I wish Kelly was here. She's my other beach girl. Go, go Kelly. Um, so you can stay a lot, a lot longer in your biggie. Just get whatever you need to prep right now while you're up and then do your Tequila Flow and you'll flip onto your back. So we're just gonna roll over, jump it back. I'll do it this way for you. 
shot around the tequila. Find that what's up, dog. Oh yeah, feels good. Maybe linger in it a little bit. And then back to Snoop down dog. Jumper step to sitting. Right, and then just roll onto your back. Turn this way. Onto the back. We'll take a little biggie pose. R.I.P. B.I.G. His family, just a little mention, his family is from Jamaica. So Biggie, very appropriate to be playing. I'll actually add that to the playlist too. You could have a Biggie playlist if you prefer that. Ooh, here comes the water. <laughs> and you could do Biggie and think Jamaica. So uh, his family came from Jamaica and he went back and visited a lot. And um, if you watched any of those Biggie, the Biggie documentary that I saw recently um, that uh, Deet Rock did, it's called I Got a Story to Tell. And they mentioned how he went back there a lot with his mother and um, listening to the steel drums and the beat of it kind of began his cadence in rap. And you can hear a lot of how they do the steel drum and the beats in the Jamaican music in his rapping style. So it's really cool to recommend that documentary. All right, lie down into your biggie. Take a big inhale through the nose. Exhale out the mouth and just let everything go. Just be still, quiet. Let the music, the vibrations penetrate through you. Let your mind just go from head to toes feeling the release with every breath and staying focused on that breath without controlling it. You're just watching, observing, as in lying on the beach, watching the clouds go by. Same thing. gratitude for getting your ass on the mat or on the beach wherever you are take a big inhale through 
the nose, drawing some new oxygen and life for your day. Positivity, go get itness. And big exhale out to any shit you don't need. Give that up and away and out. As we say in Thug Yoga, the shredder in me honors, acknowledges, respects the shredder in each of you. We are one. Nama shred, nama hustle, nama surf. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining in a little beach yoga. It's also now really nice without a playlist because the waves just sound amazing. See you on the flip till the next episode.